Do you have chronic kidney disease and get itchy skin? Well, that's a sign of a more serious problem, and I'm going to tell you all about it coming right up. What's up, kidney warriors? James here, empowering you with the knowledge you need to live a great life with kidney disease. Now today we're going to be talking about phosphorus and itchy skin and why that's a warning for a much more serious problem. But before we get into that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget, click the little bell icon so you get a notification every single time I upload a new video. Now let's get on to today's topic. It's very common for those with chronic kidney disease to get itchy skin, an extremely excessive itchy skin, and it just won't go away. Now, if you go on the internet, that's probably the first thing you're going to do. You're gonna learn that that is because you have too much phosphorus. And that is correct, but it's not exactly the right answer. People are, will recommend all sorts of creams and lotions. They'll tell you, ah, reduce your phosphorus, you'll be okay. Now here, let's talk about what really is happening. Your phosphorus level is too high. You're eating too much phosphorus, consuming too much. You know, no sodas, look at what you're eating. Drink water, low phosphorus foods. Look for the PHOS, FOS. It's hidden in the ingredients, it's all sorts of things. And fast food, if you dare eat fast food, is loaded with phosphorus because it helps extend the shelf life. It's an artificial preservative. It's what lets you go to the store or go to the restaurant and find a little carton of milk that doesn't expire for a year. It's loaded with phosphorus. It's unnatural and it's bad for your kidneys. But when you get too much phosphorus in your body, your healthy kidneys would eliminate it. No problem, you'd pee it right out. But those of us with kidney damage, it stays in the blood. And phosphorus needs calcium. Every phosphorus you know, molecule floating around in there needs a calcium molecule to bond to it. So what's your body start doing? sucking the calcium out of your bones. That's not good. That can cause weak and brittle bones. You could break your bones so easy and they'll heal very slowly, very difficult. But it'll suck the calcium out of your bones and attach those to the phosphorus. Now this is floating around in your bloodstream and technically phosphorus plus calcium, that is bone. So you've got these little tiny microscopic pieces of bone floating around in your blood. Now, when it gets close to your skin, those little tiny pieces of bone are sitting there just under your skin and they're causing you to itch. Yeah, it's not just too high of phosphorus, it has sucked calcium out of your bones, weakening them and now it's depositing it throughout your body. Now the itching, it's not going to kill you. But this can kill you because the little tiny microscopic calcium and phosphorus grouped together, little tiny microscopic bone pieces are building up in your veins, building up in your arteries, building up in your heart. And that is deadly. So if you have extreme itching and you have chronic kidney disease, this needs to be reported to your doctor. You need to call your primary care physician or your nephrologist and let them know so that they can check you out and give you the right treatment. Now what they will definitely do is tell you, you need to consume less phosphorus. They'll you know, maybe even have you talk to a dietitian on how to better read labels to detect phosphorus. And be careful. You know, there's people out there who say, oh, you can drink root beer. It's the one dark soda that doesn't have phosphorus. Okay, there are some brands, yeah, that have no phosphorus. And as an occasional treat, I don't do it, but as an occasional treat, you could have a root beer. 
but there are brands out there that have phosphorus in it. And you don't want to be consuming those thinking you're not ingesting additional phosphorus. Now, they may put you on a binder. A binder is something you usually take with your meal or 10 minutes before your meal, and it will help bind, stick to some of the phosphorus in your stomach before it gets absorbed, and you poop it out. But it's not that much. I, it might be 100 milligrams. And just a piece of chicken breast with the skin on it, the skin itself, 200 milligrams of phosphorus. So hopefully you're also not eating skin on your chicken that's just loaded with phosphorus. But the point is, if you have itchy skin and you have kidney disease, you need to report that right away. You know, don't be calling 911, but report it to your primary care physician, report it to your nephrologist, whoever you're seeing to help you manage your kidney disease report it to them so they can check, make sure everything's okay and prevent this from happening. Now, you know, if it happens once, don't panic, you know, you're going to get it taken care of. Those little tiny microscopic pieces of bone will eventually get flushed out of your system. But if it's happening off, often, this stuff's just building up and it's kind of like calcifying in your heart and it's making it harder to pump and stiffer and it's clogging up your veins and your arteries. All right, so I didn't mean to scare anyone, but this is a serious thing. And those of you that know me, you know I'm always in a ton of Facebook groups trying to give some advice here and there. And I see this one all the time. And I, the responses I see are use lotion, use this lotion. And originally I thought that too, until I actually sat down. I Every time I visit my nephrologist, which is quite often, I have a list of new questions. As a matter of fact, <laughs> These are my new questions. <laughs> Pages of them for today when I go meet my nephrologist. So I can get even more questions answered because there's conflicting information. And I want to know what's the best solution for fighting and beating kidney disease. All right. I appreciate your time here. Don't forget, become part of the conversation. Join me on Facebook, facebook.com slash TV, And... Learn everything I'm doing and get all sorts of stuff on dadvicetv.com, my website. It is loaded with tons of great stuff here to help empower you through education to fight kidney disease so you can beat it and inspire others to do the exact same thing. Thanks for watching. <music>